Helmut, you're one of 16 Austrians that have started a Formula One Grand Prix. You're closely involved with Red Bull, the owners of this racetrack, so you, as much as anybody knows, how important this weekend is for Austrian motorsport. First of all, we are really pleased that the Grand Prix did come back and we were really surprised how big the interest was. You know, you might know, after 36 hours, 180,000 tickets were sold and all together on three days we expect more than 250,000 spectators. Well, let's talk about you as a professional driver. You were very fast, you won Le Mans, uh, you were in Formula One, but then in 1972 at the French Grand Prix, a stone came through what was really thin visors back then and you, and you lost an eye and it wrecked your career. Does that still frustrate you today? No, I mean, it's so long over and at that time I was for, I think, two months in hospital. And then one night I recognized it's over and I have to look forward. Either I'm complaining the rest of my life or I do something else. And with this attitude, I moved forward. You head up the Red Bull Young Driver program. And you have to say that Danny, Kvyat and Ricardo are making you look very good this year. Oh, don't forget Vettel. I think generally when we started, we tried to help people. And all of a sudden we had two Formula One teams, though the approach was a different one. We, before it was support and now we are looking for a driver who can at least win a Grand Prix. What's going on with Sebastian Vettel? Why is he not performing this year? So he had an unbelievable sort of bad luck on the technical side, mainly from the engine part. And if the engine is not working, it's difficult to perform. It's been reported that you told Sebastian to raise his game. Sebastian, as a competitive driver, wants the most exciting, the most powerful car which is possible. And the new Formula One is different. So he had to change his approach. Yes, that's right. As a team, you've been openly very critical of Renault. What's the strategy there? When you come to the first test and you see that nothing is working and is that you're more than 80 up to 100 horsepower behind and a lot of reliability problems of course you have to tell them it can't go on like that but then we were sitting down and together we moved forward not enough yet but the direction is okay if you moved away from Renault where could you go to would Mercedes-Benz supply you or maybe Honda coming in uh, we will have an overlook where the engine is standing after this weekend and then we'll see what can we achieve with the engine and if we don't see a possibility to be on the same level like Mercedes then we have to look for alternatives. But There'll be some free Mercedes engines when McLaren move away if Mercedes want to supply another team. Could they be? Why would they supply? a team that could well beat them. That's why we are not asking for a Mercedes engine. So that only leaves Honda then or Ferrari and I can't see you wanting a Ferrari. Uh, we have a lot of very skilled companies concerning engine. That sounds like a Red Bull engine to me then. <laughs> you should never say no, you know, but we are looking in all in all alternatives. Can you catch and pass Mercedes-Benz this season? I hope, I can tell you that in about 10 days when we all have all the facts, but at the moment it doesn't look like. What happens if there's a better marketing opportunity for Red Bull? Will you leave F1? It's always a decision, of course, of the budget. What can you achieve with the budget? But Red Bull made a commitment till the end of 2020. If the value you get out for the money you are spending, there's no reason why we should leave it, even so if we are not winning. Is Formula One a sport, a show or a business? Depending from which side you see it. But if it's good sport, it's a good show and for the ones who are winning, it's a good business.
Well, I thought that was fascinating, Martin, particularly what he was talking about with the decision about an engine as, uh, a decision as early as tomorrow, effectively race day. If you think, to all intents and purposes, that Red Bull is a, a Renault Works team, you've got Ferrari and Mercedes, they are not going to want to be customers of them, as you were saying there. So is this bearing in mind that it, it, it's more an, an engine formula now than a chassis formula, and that's one of the reasons Adrian knew he went, is this inevitable, the way they've got to go and start perhaps producing their own? Well, it makes a lot of sense. They like to promote anything that's Austrian, and maybe there are other people who have made Formula One engines before uh, already working on an F1 engine, a Red Bull, Red Bull, or, you know, what's the new projects that Adrian Newey will be doing for the team? Maybe they need an engine for that. And the more I think about what he said, and it was uh, quite a revelation in that interview where he, he more or less suggested that, yeah, we'll make our own engine. They've got two teams in Formula One. If they supply another team as well, then they've got tens of millions of euros to pump into that. And... Uh, uh, or they could actually sell that engine to, they've always had a good relationship with Volkswagen Audi, or it could be the Red Bull Red Bull, as I said, or, you know, maybe the Audi group would use Lamborghini, or you can think of any number of permutations. And the more you put some information around that and some thought process around that, it's actually a no-brainer for Red Bull to go and do their own engine next. Maybe go, go along the rebranding the Infinity route. I mean, they are tied in with them exactly. as well. Exactly, they've got Infinity there too, and there's, there is a rumour in the paddock that Renault might pull out at the end of uh, 2016 anyway. So, uh, but that is a rumour. That's no more than a rumour. But uh, so, you know, many of these decisions in Formula One always have been and always will be taking several years down the road. OK, uh, Renault, though, are confirmed for 2015 as uh, staying in partnership with uh, Red Bull. Right, the other piece of news uh, to carry over, of course, from the race two weeks ago.